Hallo Leute, heute will ich mit euch einige kostenlose Ressourcen teilen, die euch helfen können, Deutsch zu lernen. I have been learning German for a few years now about... Oh, it's been four actually. I've been learning German for four years now, but it really started getting serious during this pandemic. So more like two years. And because I learned German in this period when we've been at home, I've encountered a lot of really good resources on the internet and with books. I am going to mention some things that cost money and some things that are free just to share what I have used and what have helped me, but I also want to give some free alternatives for those paid products that I mention. I'm not getting paid by these companies, I do have affiliate links in the description for some things, but these are honestly what I use to learn German. Disclaimer, I am not fluent, I think I would say I'm like B1 right now, B2 on a good day. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I am just one learner trying to help other learners access some good German resources that are available. I think we're kind of lucky because German is one of those languages that does have a lot of really good resources in English. There are some languages that I've learned that are uh, lacking. But you are not here to hear about those, let's talk about German. The first book I want to mention is the Everything Essential German book, which has been super helpful for me. It is very simplified, so it's very good for people who don't learn many other languages, want simple explanations, they don't want to get too into the nitty gritty, they want to just learn the German without learning too many academic grammatical words. Besides what is necessary, I don't think this book complicates things too much. Of course you're going to need your tables and charts and there's no way to get around that with German, but I think this book is really good for people who don't want the super technical stuff. For those of you who do like to learn languages and like very detailed grammatical expressions for things, I recommend Baron's German Grammar. As you can see, it's very tiny, but I think it is full of information, very, very dense. It goes over quite a lot of rules and goes over a lot of exceptions to the rules, which I appreciate a lot. The funny thing about this book is it was created before the reunification of Germany, and it doesn't include some modernizations to the orthography of German, namely the letter SZ is used after simple vowels, which is not allowed in modern German. So in this old style of German, das is written with an SZ, but in modern German, das is written with two S's. It's not that distracting if you are aware of it, but it is something to be aware of. This is an old book. Something else that has been super helpful for me is the Spark Charts for German grammar. I like it because it has really accessible tables and charts for German declensions. They're not conceptually hard, there's just a lot to remember, so I think this Spark Charts for German grammar is perfect for that. Another book that I've paid for that is super helpful is this German Grammar Drills book, which has grammar exercises for pretty much every German grammar point and has a little bit of explanation before all of them. I am someone that really likes drilling grammar, so this is perfect for me. Even if you don't like drilling grammar, I think German really requires it because there's just so many minute details to remember, so I highly recommend this one to all learners of German. Something that is a great supplement to these if you buy these books or can be the way you encounter main grammar is DW Learners. You can find tons and tons of resources for German learners. You can take tests to know what your level is. They have an Instagram account that likes to post some pictures with some question so you can quiz yourself as it appears in your Instagram feed. The German government has put a lot of investment money into German learning programs through DW in recent years and it really shows because this website is really detailed and there's even a movie for learners called Nico's Fig which is hilarious because it is so memeable. It is the story about a Spanish man who comes to Germany to learn German and through this movie you'll also get to practice your listening and hear examples of some grammar points. It's the funniest thing ever because apparently he is a German learner but he has a really quick grasp of the German language but I mean you need to watch it for yourself. 
I do also recommend downloading the DW app. That is Deutsche Welle, the German public broadcaster. The app does take the language of your phone, so I do recommend changing your phone to German to access all those good German news articles. It's really nice because they're pretty small, made for native German speakers. They can be hard for beginners, so maybe this isn't where you will start, but it is a great source of learning because there's always new content and they aren't too long. DW also has a YouTube channel where they do live stream the actual public broadcast. So this is a fantastic way to practice your German listening. I also recommend the Austrian public broadcaster Österreichische Rundfunk for the same reason that I recommend DW. There's good news articles to read on there and you can find some good videos to practice your listening. There are also plenty of German YouTubers out there. A couple of German YouTubers that I can recommend is Kurzgesagt, which is mostly popular in English, but I think it's amazing that they are originally German and they have English and German versions of all their videos. So if you like Kurzgesagt videos in English, they have the exact same thing in German on their other channel. I also really like watching Mr. Wissen to go, who most mostly talks about history, but I just like that most of the videos are subtitled and his pronunciation of German is pretty clear to me. And for the tools you're going to need for German, the dictionary I use for German the most is the Lingui Dictionary, which is a multilingual dictionary, but I think the German version is very high quality. There are examples for almost everything you search. They might even have a lot of the phrases that you search already as entries, and they also have a really high quality translator, which is really helpful when you want to see if your sentence is correct. I love to write my sentences in German and translate them to English to see if I said what I meant. Reverso is also good for tons of languages, and for German, it's the same. I don't use it quite as much because I really do prefer the Lingui dictionary, but if for whatever reason the app's not working, I will go over to the Reverso app. German has a lot of endings to their words for the nouns, for the adjectives, for the verbs, and I think Wiktionary is really helpful for that. If you search any noun, adjective, verb in German, they probably have a chart for that to correctly decline or conjugate that word. So if you aren't quite sure what the ending of a certain verb is, you can check that on Wiktionary. So that's all for today. I really hope that can be helpful for your German learning. These are legitimately what I use to learn German. If you have another resource that I didn't mention that could be super helpful, please leave it in the comments to let others know. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. If you want to see more from me, I have the links to all my socials in the description. I also have a website at studywithalex.com where I talk about language related things, not only about German, but other languages too. But I do have a couple articles specifically about German on my website, which could be interesting for learners. So thank you for watching today. I'll see you for another video very soon. All right, bis bald.